Hello students, in today's session we are going to talk about the Nernst equation. In electrochemistry, the Nernst equation is an equation that relates the reduction potential of an electrochemical reaction, half cell or full cell reaction to the standard electrode potential, temperature and activities often approximated by concentrations of the chemical species undergoing reduction and oxidation. So over here we are talking about Nernst equation. It is one of the most commonly used equations when it comes to the electrochemical series. And in this particular Nernst equation, we are going to find out what relates the reduction potential of whether it is a half equation or a full cell reaction. It does not matter. It works for both. So the standard electrode potential when it comes to temperature and different activities for doing so. It was named after Walter Nerz, a German physical chemist who formulated this equation. So this particular reaction or this particular equation comes after a German physical chemist. Now why have we specified over your physical chemist? Because in chemistry, there are various subdivisions and subclassification to this particular huge vast subject. Chemistry itself is being divided into organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry and Walter Nerz was the scientist who worked on the physical chemistry part and that is the reason why he is known as a physical chemist. He formulated the reaction and the expression is a quantitative relationship between cell potential and concentration of the ions. So it is a reaction between the cell potential as well as the concentration of the ions. Now these particular ions might be present inside the electrolyte which is there inside the electrochemical cell. Oxidation. Now what exactly is oxidation? You take an oxidant plus you remove an electron and then it gets reduced. The standard thermodynamics says that the actual free energy change Delta G. Delta G is nothing but Gibbs free energy. It's named after a person Gibbs because he found out about this free energy. It's related to free energy change under standard delta G. By relationship, delta G is equal to delta G plus RT ln QR. Where QR is nothing but the reaction quotient. The cell potential E associated with electrochemical reaction is defined as the decrease in the Gibbs free energy. And whenever we talk about a decrease in the Gibbs free energy, the decrease is nothing but a minus sign. A negative sign says that this particular thing is in the lower side. That means it is in the decreasing side. So because we are talking about decrease in the Gibbs free energy, you will see in the reaction delta G is equals to minus ZFE. This particular minus sign comes from the decrease or the dip in the Gibbs free energy per coulomb of charge transfer. So the reaction or the equation that we get is delta G is equals to minus ZFE. The constant F is known as the Faraday's constant is a unit conversion of factor F and AQ where Na is the Avogadro's number also known as the Avogadro's constant and it is 6.022 into 10 raised to minus 23 and Q is the fundamental electron charge. This immediately leads to the Nernst equation for which an electrochemical half cell is E reduction is equals to E reduction equals minus RT by ZF ln QR and over here QR is nothing but the reaction quotient so it becomes E reduction minus RT by ZF ln A of reduction upon A of oxidation. For a complete electrochemical reaction that is when we are talking about a full cell a complete cell the equation can be written as E of cell 
equals E of reduction minus, which is equals to minus. Minus is nothing but the dip RT by ZF ln QR. Where E of reduction is the half cell reduction potential at the temperature of interest reduction in the standard half cell reduction potential. E cell that means the cell potential or the electromotive force at the temperature of interest E cell is the standard cell potential. R is the universal gas constant and all of us that means all the students are expected to know the value of R it will not always be given. R is 8.31446 joule per Kelvin per mole. The K stands for Kelvins in which temperature is being measured. Z is the number of electrons transferred in the cell during the half cell reaction. F is the Faraday's constant, the number of coulombs per mole of electrons so F is 96485, that is 96485.332 C per mole, that is coulomb per mole. QR is the reaction quotient of the cell reaction and A is the chemical activity for the relevant species. Where A reduction is the activity of reduced form and A oxidation is the activity of the oxidized form. Similarly, to equilibrium constants activities are always measured with respect to standard state 1 mole per liter for solutes and 1 atmosphere for gases. So now this is the standard state of how it should work by. The activity of species X AX can be related to the physical concentration CX via AX. So we have gamma X CX where gamma X is the activity coefficient of the species x because activity coefficients tend to unity at low concentration activities in the north equation are frequently replaced by simple concentrations alternatively refining the formal potential as e is equals to e plus rt by zf ln gamma oxidation upon gamma reduction the half cell north equation may be written of concentrations as E of reduction is equals to E reduction RT by ZF minus long concentration of the reduction upon concentration of the oxidation and likewise for a full cell expression at room temperatures that is 25 degrees Celsius the thermal voltage VT is equals to RT by F is approximately 25.693 megavolt. The Nernst equation frequently expressed in terms of base minus 10 logarithms that is common logarithms rather than natural logarithms by which in this case it will be written as E is equals to E0 plus Vt by Z ln A oxidation upon A reduction which is equals to E0 plus lambda Vt by Z log to the base 10 A oxidation upon A reduction. Well, lambda is nothing but ln 10, which is equals to lambda Vt is equals to 0 0.05916 volts. The Nernst equation is used in physiology for finding electrical potential of cell membrane with respect to the type of ions. It can be linked to acid dissociation constant as well. So over here, we completely study Nernst equation in detail. We understand the entire equation. Thank you.